Hi, my name is Joshua Trujillo and today we are going to be cooking some stuffed bell peppers. The ingredients to stuffed bell peppers are really simple. Of course we are going to need our stuffed um, our bell peppers, which as you can see we have three right here. We are also going to be needing eggs since that's going to be the main ingredient to stuffing these uh, bell peppers and you need a choice of vegetables. Now I'm going to be using one of these stuffed bell peppers and cutting it up into smaller pieces so I can also insert it into the bell peppers along with some onion, ham, and some cheese. And of course with eggs you want your seasonings so I have the basic uh, pepper, black pepper, along with some garlic salt and chili powder to add a little bit of kick into it. And of course you are going to need a little bit of um, oil I'm using olive oil to fry up your vegetables that you want to use. Alright, the utensils that we are using are very simple. We have a cutting board along with a knife. We are going to be using the cutting board and knife to cut up the onion that we have and all the other vegetables that you may want to insert into the bell pepper as well. You are also going to need a cutting board and knife to cut open the tops of the bell pepper so we can have the ability to stuff the bell pepper with our eggs and veggies. We have a frying pan and a spatula. This is going to be used to cook up our vegetables before we place them inside the um, bell peppers. This is just to make sure that they're a little bit softer and easier to chew and it just adds a little bit of taste and texture to um, eating your stuffed bell pepper. You also have a bowl and a whisk. After we are done cooking our vegetables, we are going to be um, using this bowl to mix the vegetables with our raw eggs. and. Um, we'll be using the bowl to pour our eggs and vegetables into the bell peppers and we have a pan and the pan is just used um, once we have the stuffed bell peppers um, all ready to go um, we'll place them on this pan and put them in the oven which has been conveniently set at 350 um, uh, to cook. Alright so right here you're watching me cut the bell pepper as you can see I'm cutting it from the top but there are also different ways of cutting it to fill the um, bell pepper. You can cut it uh, in half vertically to have two half pieces or you can do it so like I did. Make sure you clean out the middle, uh, the insides. I'm also using the top of the bell pepper as the pieces of bell pepper that I want mixed with the eggs inside for the stuffing. Uh, this is just a little trick that way you're not wasting a whole lot of food and that you can use all of the bell pepper and not have too much to waste. Whole onions provide a lot of onion and since I'm only making three of these stuffed bell peppers I'm only probably going to be using half of the onion here. So what I'm going to be doing is just cutting it right down the middle like so and I'll probably save this half for a later time when I need onion for another recipe. Alright, make sure that your oven is preheated and that your frying pan and oil are ready to go. This is the sautéing part. Now for the amount of oil you use, it will all depend on how much stuff you got in there. I always like eyeballing it, but if you want an exact number, you can use anywhere from 1 to 2 tablespoons of oil. And just make sure you pour it in there and stir it around the pan. And this is what's going to cook our uh, vegetables that we need. As you can see, I've already poured in uh, the vegetables, getting them ready to fry up. And then after letting it sit for some time, make sure that you're stirring them up and getting them brown on all sides. You don't have to cook them till they're brown, but just make sure that they're nice and juicy. All right, now while the vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna crack open the eggs. Usually I use uh, one egg per half pepper. So in this case, since I have three uh, peppers here, I'm gonna do two eggs in each pepper. And once you get them all cracked and good, you're going to whisk them up a bit until they're all nice and good. Alright, now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. So as you can see, I'm using ham and cheese alongside the vegetables. Now there's not like a certain amount that I'm putting in there. I'm just kind of eyeballing everything, um, just making sure I um, have a good ratio of it. But after you add everything, you make sure you want to make sure that you mix everything, and don't forget the spices. Spices can make a meal go a long way. Uh, you don't have to use these three, but these three I definitely enjoy. 
and it adds a bunch of flavor and kick to whatever you cook. Now I forgot to mention too that you may want a spoon for this part and what you're going to do is take the filling and put it into the pepper. You may accidentally overfill the pepper like I do as well and find a hard time trying to place it on the pan but if you use the corner of the pans or just pour it in with the bowl it may you may find it easier than the way I did it. Now it's time to place them in the oven. Make sure that your oven is all ready to go. Be careful putting them in since they can kind of slush around. Close the oven and make sure that you set a timer. Now I set mine for about 30 minutes but it took more like 40 minutes to cook. And the way I was testing to make sure that they were cooked is I was taking a fork and just kind of pressing down on them while they were in the oven to make sure that they were hard rather than just all soft and mushy. Now that the stuffed bell peppers are all done, I have my two test subjects here to taste it with me to verify that this meal is A-OK. -okay. And with our first bites, they say not that bad. Thank you for watching and I hope that you follow this recipe.